May 29th is the release date for Marvel Star Wars issue 108. I know I've talked about it many times already, but now it's only a few days away. The EU fans who've been eagerly anticipating its release will finally get to read the very first Legends comic produced in nearly five years. And it's official. The cover was shown off with the Legends banner. This is part of the timeline that we grew up with. It's hard not to hype it up too much. After all, it is just a one-shot, featuring a ragtag group of a few fan favorites from the original Marvel Star Wars years. I think it would be silly to expect something to rival the quality of the Thrawn trilogy. And yet, it represents a huge change in Star Wars history. Sounds dramatic, I know, but hear me out. As an EU fan back when it was decanonized in 2014, the tone of how the Expanded Universe was treated was much different. So many articles and internet comments about how relieved they were that the E was thrown out because it was too stupid or confusing or too big. And then the EU fans who campaigned for it to be brought back were labeled as emotional or full of anger, which is understandable, I would think, when what we followed as the true canon of Star Wars was now going to be ignored or cherry-picked from. We were even called terrorists for daring to put up a billboard asking for the expanded universe to be brought back. Yep, that really happened. But then when a few of the Disney canon projects didn't quite meet some people's expectations, a lot of people became disappointed in the direction that Star Wars took. And perhaps some of the people who were previously thankful that the E was gone were now starting to miss it, or realize that maybe it represented their vision of Star Wars better than the new films. Issue 108 is being produced to mark Marvel's 80th anniversary, so it's not crediting the fans who are campaigning for New Legends, sort of how the new season of Clone Wars is, but it is very interesting how it's coming out after some of the new canon projects didn't meet expectations, and also given the fact that the EU fandom is viewed in a better light compared to a few years ago, and also given the fact that more and more people are starting to express how they miss the EU, and also given the fact that maybe some newer fans are starting to branch into the Legends timeline. I think now, possibly more than ever, it's very smart of Disney, Lucasfilm, and Marvel to announce a new story in the Legends universe. They said they're doing this to celebrate Marvel's 80th anniversary. Okay, I understand that. But Marvel has thousands of characters and hundreds of memorable storylines. They could have done an infinite number of other things to acknowledge that milestone but they chose to create a story that takes place in the Legends universe. I mean, they could have celebrated their 80th anniversary with a comic taking place in the new canon just as easily. I truly believe that they are making this comic as a means of gauging how interested people actually are in a continuation of the Legends universe. It's a one-shot, so they're not going to fully commit to a new series, only to suddenly realize that people no longer care about the old canon. This issue, in my opinion, is their way of testing the waters and seeing if it floats. When I asked people why they are purchasing it, many of them said it was because they are EU fans, who want to see more legend stories be made. And this is the best way to tell Lucasfilm, and Marvel especially, if they really are considering making other Legends comics, that yes, we want more Legends. Though I've already seen a few people saying this isn't the victory they'd hoped for, for various reasons. One that keeps coming back is that this is part of the original Marvel comics, which aren't explicitly tied into the canon that the novels or the Dark Horse comics were. To that argument, I have to completely disagree. Maybe in the early 90s, the Marvel comics weren't taken into account, but over time, many of the events or characters from the Marvel comics were referenced in later novels, most notably Lumaya, who was one of the central antagonists in the Marvel comics and then later shows up in Legacy of the Force, with her backstory from the Marvel comics completely unchanged. Like it or not, the Marvel comics are vital for the complete Star Wars EU experience, and I fully recognize the continuation with issue 108 to fit into the original canon. That being said, I'm cautiously optimistic about this issue coming out. That Legends banner announcement at Star Wars Celebration was a huge relief, because before that, I think the EU fandom wasn't exactly sure what Marvel was trying to do with this. I'm expecting a fairly entertaining story, even if it doesn't tie into a million other things with a web of continuity references. My worst case scenario is it trying to lazily tie into the new canon for no good reason. If it did that, then it would be confusing on where to draw the line between canon and legends, and it would be completely unnecessary 
and insulting of both canon and legends. At that point, it would be pretty pointless to have a legends banner on it at all. I am doubtful that will happen though, but we won't know for sure until the issue comes out. To end on a more hopeful note, first, I want you to think about everyone who said this would never happen. Think about people telling you, your canon is dead, or get over it. We've been hearing trolls tell us it's been a futile struggle to fight for more legend stories. Now those same people will move the goalposts and say things like, they're not doing it for you, or it's only a one shot. Keep on ignoring them, because before they were so sure that new legends would never happen. And they were wrong. 100% wrong. They'll downplay every bit of progress at every step of the way. Now, I want you to think about us. Think about yourself, the EU fan who's been fighting for new legend stories to be made for so long. We didn't give up because we knew new legend stories were not only a possibility, but something we could make real if we campaigned hard for it. And now it is real. You proved everyone who said this was impossible wrong. And if it happened once, it can happen again, and again, and again. Stay hopeful, and have a great day, folks.